This is Copa 90 and these are the top 10 South American signings. At 10, it's the Brazilian Olympic gold medalist Douglas Santos, who made the move to Hamburg this summer for a fee of around 6.3 million pounds. Douglas Santos is exactly what you expect a Brazilian fullback to be. And while big clubs around Europe were rumored to be after him, it was Hamburg who secured his signature. The left back should settle a lot quicker than other South Americans that moved to Europe this summer, as he previously had spells at both Granada and Udinese. Douglas has clearly made an impression already, featuring in the majority of Hamburg's game so far, to suggest that this could be a big coup for the club. In at 9 is 19-year-old Mateo Cassiera. The Colombian forward was bought as one for the future at Ajax, but he certainly didn't start slowly in the Eredivisie when the chance to show what he's capable of presented itself. Given his debut in the opening game of the season, Cassiera found the back of the net in a 3-1 away win to Sparta Rotterdam. Since then, the forward has made a handful of substitute appearances without scoring, but did hit the headlines recently when he scored four in a single game for the Ajax under-21s in the Jupiler League to prove he's got a big future ahead of him. At eight, it's Ganso. Ask any fan of Football Manager 2011, and this guy was the greatest wonder kid around five years ago. Ganso came through the Santos Academy a year before Neymar, and the hype was just as high for him as it was for the Barcelona star. Touted as the next Kaka, due to his height and elegant style of play, big things were expected from the Brazilian attacking midfielder. But after a couple of stuttering seasons, Ganso is looking to rejuvenate his career at Sevilla after joining them for around eight million pounds from Sao Paulo. The attacking midfielder can bag himself goals, but that killer through ball is Ganso's trademark. Although, since joining, Ganso has yet to show what he's really capable of. At seven, it's Sevilla fullback Gabriel Mercado. The Argentine right back, who is also more than capable at centre half, has spent his career playing in the Argentine Premier League and made the move to La Liga later than many other South Americans do. But don't let that fool you, for a 29 year old, he's very good. Technically gifted and strong in defence, Gabriel Mercado is the real deal. His recent spell at River Plate earned him a spot in Argentina's defence at Copa Centenario, and since joining Sevilla, he's continued to impress. At six, simply because he's yet to join up with Man City, it's Gabriel Jesus. This summer, Man City completed the £27 million signing of goalgetter Gabriel Jesus from Palmeiras. With only Aguero and Iheanacho as recognised strikers at City, Pep will certainly be interested to see how Gabriel Jesus performs as he hopes the Brazilian Olympic star can battle for a starting spot when he joins in January. If his 2016 form is anything to go by, Man City could have the deadliest teenage strike force in world football. Gabriel Jesus has scored 15 goals in just 19 games in the 2016 season and will be eager to make up for lost time when he joins in the new year. At five, it's Ede Alvarez Balanta. Ede Alvarez Balanta is another one of the names that will live long in the memory of football manager fans. While it will hurt that it's now tougher to snap him up in the game, it will definitely be exciting to see how Balanta performs in Europe. The Colombian centre-half has all the attributes to be a top, top defender. He's fast, strong, dominant and cultured. And while he has struggled for consistency at times, the 23-year-old could be a remarkable signing for Swiss champions FC Basel and still has plenty of time to reach his peak. Balanta has already proved a hit for Basel, starting every game since joining, picking up an assist on his debut and his first goal against Lausanne. At number four is Alexandre Pato, once considered the most exciting prospect in Brazilian football. Injury cursed Alexandre Pato has still not been able to rekindle his AC Milan form from the early part of his career. After stuttering recent seasons and an unsuccessful loan spell at Chelsea, Pato now has another chance to prove himself in Europe. While he struggled to return to the player he once was, the price of around £2.5 million could be a fantastic piece of business if the 26-year-old striker finds some form at Villarreal. Since the move, Pato has shown glimpses of what he's capable of, linking up well and scoring on his debut against Monaco in the Champions League qualifier. In at three, it's AC Milan's new defender Gustavo Gomez. The Paraguayan 23-year-old has been brought in by Milan from Argentine champions Lanús to attempt to shore up their leaky defence. From his days in South America, the versatile defender became known for his physical dominance and tough tackling. Gomez's aggressive style should complement Romagnoli's cultured ball-playing approach very well, as they look to build a formidable partnership for the Rossoneri. Gomez is finally starting to settle down after a shaky start to life at AC Milan, and alongside his centre-back partner and with young Italian Donnarumma in goal, AC Milan could well have found their long-term defensive spine. In at two, it's Lyon's new centre-half, Emmanuel Mamana. Since making his debut in their 5-1 victory against Montpellier, 
Mamana has certainly caught the attention of the Lyon fans, where his cultured style and defensive awareness stand out, even at the age of 20. His versatility and technique on the ball also allow the Argentine wonder kid to slot in at fullback, which will definitely benefit the former River Plate star's development at Lyon. It's still early days, but Mamana looks the real deal. In at number one, it's got to be the man with one of the greatest nicknames in football, Gabigol. Gabriel Barbosa will be a well-known name to you if you play FIFA or Football Manager, but there's more to him than just virtual talent. The goal-getter may not be the strongest or the quickest, but what he lacks in physical attributes, he more than makes up for in technical brilliance. He's a player built on precision over power, and if Mauro Icardi's form slips, expect Gabigol to be ready to step up. While he might be seen playing out wide or just off the front man first of all, Gabigol is expected to be nurtured to be one of the most lethal strikers in the world. It's a high price tag at £25 million, but if Gabriel Barbosa fulfills his potential as expected, that could arguably be a steal. That was Copper 90's top 10 South American signings. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.